Hello Homo sapiens. Hope you are doing good. If not, no worries because we are back with an interesting series called Mapping Marathon. You are watching Fun with Geo channel. We come with interesting videos related to static and contemporary geographical events and sometimes inspirational videos too. So without any delay, let's get started. Invisible Bank. There is not much information available about this, so let us know its location. It lies in Andaman Sea, southeast of Port Blair, and it is also rich in marine life. Degree Channels Let us put end to the confusion regarding these degree channels. First comes 8 degree channel. It is located in the Arabian Sea between Minicoy Island, which is a part of Lakshadweep Island, and Maldives. And then 9 degree channel. It is also located in the Arabian Sea between Kavriti and Minikoi Islands. So between Kavriti and Minikoi Islands there is a 9 degree channel. And between Minikoi and Maldives there is a 8 degree channel. And finally comes 10 degree channel. It is in the Bay of Bengal between Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Now let us have a brief about coastal line of India. This is Purbandar coast and then comes Gohalwar coast and from Maharashtra boundary to Karnataka it is Konkan coast and the Kerala coastline it is called Malabar coast and coming to the east coastal plains from Tamil Nadu to the southern part of Andhra Pradesh it is called Karmandal coast and then north of it is called Northern Sarkats followed by Utkal plains which includes the coastal regions of Odisha. Let us begin with Konkan coast. It is the sub-region of West Coastal Plain, extends from Tapi River in Gujarat to Karnataka and Kerala border in South. It is dissected by numerous short rivers flowing west from the Western Ghats. Malabar coast. It is the coastal zone of Kerala, which consists of laterite soil. This soil is rich in oxides, thus supports plantations such as tea, rubber, cashew nut and coconut. Next is Malacca Banks and Mal Banks. These are located in the Gulf of Kambat, where Mal Bank is located in the interiors of Gulf of Kambat and Malacca Bank is located near Daman. Both these banks are rich in fishes and marine life. Next comes Coral Banks. These are rich in marine resources and there are three types of Coral Banks. West Coral Bank which is located west of the North Andaman Island and then comes Middle Coral Bank which is located west of the Middle Andaman Island and finally South Coral Bank which is located west of the South Andaman Island. Next is Park Strait. This strait connects Gulf of Manar and Bay of Bengal. It is located between Tamil Nadu and Sri Lanka. It has Pamban Island, Mannar Island, Gulf of Mannar has its southern borders. And also it is rich in coral formation and marine life. There is a proposed project to connect Park Strait and Gulf of Mannar. But because of religious barriers, it wasn't implemented. Next is Pamban Channel. It lies in the Park Strait. Here is the Pamban Island and Mannar Island which we were talking about previously. And the recent development is new Pamban Bridge to come up in two years. This bridge is going to be constructed parallel to the existing one. And this bridge extends from mainland to the Rameshwaram and Danushkodi island. Next is Sombrero Channel. It is located in Andaman and Nicobar Islands, which lies north to the little Nicobar island. And the last one is Porbandar coast, which is a part of Gujarat coast and extends from Dwaraka to Diu. It also has attractive sea beaches like Porbandar and Somnath. So with this, we are done with our first theme, Coastal Features. And let us start islands in our next video. Finally and obviously, if you like this video, like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.